If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Hi guys, welcome to Life of Gaz and today I'm fishing out here on Cleveland's Beach. Now it's not a bad tide, but it's not as nice as I'd actually like to see it. But we're going to cast out and see who's about today. So first of all, let's look at the hooks and the rigs that I'm using. I'm using two O hooks and these are on flapper rigs and I'm using two, two hook flapper rigs there. So basically I'm fishing the same style on both rods. I'm fishing with the fresh bait that I was using today almost instantly and almost every cast through the flood I was getting bites and I was picking up and I was into fish. Now I was fishing from pretty much as soon as the light started. Unfortunately though my two cameras pick up light slightly differently so one set of shots are a little bit darker than the others. But there we have, just making his way onto the beach, the first white in of the morning. And after landing this fish, unhooking, then it's just releasing him. So when I was releasing this little guy, he took a little while to recover, just in the surf, tried to come back up the beach, then finally he turned around and went back off to the sea. Now normally when I'm fishing on the beach like this, especially when I'm using worm, I set alarms and I give the baits generally set times to soak and it depends how long it's taking the baits to wash off or get picked off by small fish or crabs or prawns but today I'm not doing that at all as the bites were coming in thick and fast and so were the fish. And there's another one sent back out to sea safe and sound. Now throughout the flood within this session it didn't matter where I cast, I could cast long, short, to the left, to the right, up or down the tide and no matter what I did I ended up picking up whiting. Now these fish are schooling fish, they do come in quite heavily and at this time of year sometimes it's not uncommon to catch a fair number of these in one go. Now believe it or not if they're a decent size I actually quite like eating these little guys and I might show you some of that later on as the year goes on and as these whiting get bigger. Now I know when it comes to catching whiting, some people don't mind it, the most people absolutely hate it. If you don't want to catch these little guys, then the simple thing is to just put really big hooks on. And sometimes if there's lots of whiting about and I want to target cod, I'll put big hooks up to about a size 6 on just to get past the smaller whiting. Now the bigger whiting will take the 6 o hooks quite readily, but to be fair, when I'm out fishing, I'm just happy to catch fish. I'm not really too bothered a lot of the time what they are, as long as I manage to keep that scoreboard ticking over and manage just to catch and make myself happy.
Now one of the things I often notice, especially when whiting are about, is if you're catching lots of them there won't be any other fish around, or very few that you'll be able to hook into anyway. Now one of the things I have noticed when I'm fishing for these guys on the shore is that the whiting will come in then all of a sudden they'll dry up and that's usually when the other fish like cod start turning up and the whiting seem to stay out of their way for the most bit especially if they're smaller ones. Unfortunately though in this session the whiting they stuck in real tight all session long and that unfortunately meant there was only whiting that were caught today so I didn't get a chance to put any cod on the, on the beach. Now it's not uncommon to get double hookups when you're fishing for whiting and they're about, especially if you've got flapper rigs on. But unusually today, out of all the fish I caught, only two came in together on one rig. Everyone else was just caught singly. Now the last whiting that came up there, the one I got the measuring tape on, was the biggest of the session. No significant size, only 33 centimeters. Now the session carried on like this for pretty much the entirety of the flood. Now I fished two and a half hours up and then three hours back down, but from high tide down, unfortunately, I didn't get a single bite. So I'm not sure what scared the whiting off, but whatever did, didn't stick around to pick up the worm on my hooks. Well guys, thanks for watching all the way out to the end, but unfortunately that's the end of that session on Life of Gaz today. We only have whiting, but then again, they come in thick and fast on the flood. On the ebb, they tailed right off and I didn't pick up a single fish. But anyway, you gotta be out there to try. But if you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe button down there. Check out my latest video over here and my playlist up there.